there's some basic tips, um, and pretty much the, the bottom line is you want to make sure whatever you're showing on your screen is what you really want to be showing. So sometimes when we're working on our own computer, we've got this message flashing at the bottom of the screen reminding us that we need to update our software. And when somebody's watching a lecture and that's like flashing at the bottom, it's, it's distracting for them. So if that's, you know, you'd, you'd want to make sure that anything like that was gone from the screen. Um, and anything that you can do to prepare the students, if you are showing a PowerPoint, if you can start it by saying these are our goals, um, something that gives them some indication of w w what's what they're expecting. Now, um, the length of it will obviously help them a lot to, to see what they're in for. But anything that you can do to um, uh, prepare them for what what's what's going to happen is is um, uh, really good. And if you are going to do these, let's say you're going to do ten in a term, if you, you do plan to do these at home or something, if you can try to keep the same settings that you have. So your screen uh, resolution, you, you haven't changed computers or you're not, you know, one time you've got your microphone just blasting them and the next time they just have to be like this in order to even hear what you're saying. Um, those, are, those are just some basic things. In terms of narration, if you're doing these outside, um, you may want to consider a script. Uh, most people, if they just have some bullet points to follow, that, that works for them. Uh, you may find that if you're doing this outside of the classroom that you want to practice multiple times um, to get it where you want it to be. And so that, again, leads you to making shorter recordings so that if you decide to do it over again, it isn't very long. Um, and any time you can eliminate exterior noise, uh, the, in these rooms the fans are always blowing. Um, so anything you can do to r remove exterior noise is, is uh, a good way to go. Um, we've gone through the, the getting started. I think you have um, pretty much what you need in order to uh, get this to work. Uh, we've gone through what this workflow to, to show you how you would get it set up. We've talked about um, how you access your content. Uh, you'll get this email and you'll be able to copy the link into it and recommending that you open the content in a new uh, window. Um, I'd like to have, uh, finish by just encouraging you to think about other possibilities for this technology. Uh, so uh, if you're currently spending a lot of time having students give presentations in class, if there's presentations that you could maybe move online, um, I would consider it. It's, it's something that we're seeing more and more of. So we're not talking about this not being a skill that they couldn't benefit from having practiced in college. Uh, we're seeing lots of YouTube videos uh, where people are giving lectures. So um, if you saw this as an opportunity where maybe you were taking two classes to give student presentations and instead of doing that, students um, posted them online, uh, it's, it's a possibility. Uh, you might look at this as a way to give reflections. So rather than even doing this in class, maybe when you get back to your office and you think, you know what? there was one more thing I should have shared. Or, oh, I now see what that student was talking about. I, I didn't understand what question they were asking. Let me take five minutes and I'll just talk about that topic, post it on Blackboard, okay? Um, it's a way to con continue the conversation, a possible um, a way to maybe actually get more time when you get back to class and the first 15 minutes is taken up with these questions that you could have maybe settled. Everybody could have had peace of mind during the week or before the next class period. Uh, any kind of software demonstrations, if you have lab software that you need students to be able to understand, uh, rather than having to demo it in class, this would be a good possible way to, to capture that time. Um, you may decide to ca capture any conference presentations you give and then have your students watch that uh, watch a uh, presentation you give at a conference 
as part of a, uh, an assignment uh, for yourself. If nothing else, um, share that on the fact staff news um, so that others could, could see what you've uh, done. And then don't, um, don't uh, or do consider using uh, open educational resource content from places like iTunes U and uh, YouTube uh, slash edu. Uh, there's lots of great lectures out there uh, by uh, Nobel Prize winning scientists, educators, uh, professional, professionals of all fields uh, that, that you could share as content, uh, put a link in Blackboard and have students um, uh, view lectures or content from other professionals.